Hello, let's go over the radial sprite material function. It's kind of the same as the radial gradient material function, it just acts a little bit different. Uh, let's go over the blur. At 0 obviously it does nothing, at 1 you get something. And the higher the value, the smaller the circle becomes and the more blurry it becomes as well. Okay, so at uh, 1, 2. Let's try 0.75, 0.5, it becomes a little bit tighter, so you do like 0.1, 0.01, should still work, and that's nice crisp edge now. So let's go back to 1 for now. The size doesn't really work the way you think it works. You can get high values, of course, but it only shrinks it a little bit. It's more for general kind of tweaking along with the blur size. So if I add a blur of like, uh, let's do 20, I should be able to change the size here now. Five, uh, four. And as you can see, it changes a little bit the blurriness from the edges up until the center. I think 5 is the limit that I created, 5 to 5, uh, 5, 4 to 9, huh. 4, 4 to 5. As you can see, there is kind of a limit on where you can play with it. It's mainly just for the sprite and kind of a burnness. Just play around with it until you get something nice. I generally suggest to use the radial gradient, but in some cases I kind of prefer this one because of the blurriness. Okay, that should be it. Take care.